What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, bought myself another SME. I like these. Good value, durable, rugged watches if you need sports watches. This one is a SME 1248. Looks like a nine, but it's an eight. And uh, it comes in a couple color variations. But uh, this is the one I got in all black. And if you like this watch, stay tuned. I might give you some info that you might like. And here it is, man. You know, let's, uh, let's undress this bad boy. What's cool about these is, uh, you know, they're, they're rugged. They have lasted me a long time. I have a number of skimmies. And they're just great watches to bang around on beach volleyball and camping trips, going out and doing a little rafting. And they take a lick, licking, and keep on ticking. Now, this one's all black. It's kind of murdered out. It's not uh, super big. Um, I want to say that uh, this is going to be probably the perfect watch if you like sports watches, but kind of um, shun really, really, really huge watches. So this one is a very manageable 46 millimeters across from this edge to this edge. And so, you know, it has big presence, but it's a... Uh, it's much smaller than, you know, a number of the other SMEs and a number of the other competitors, even the G-Shocks and things like that, which, you know, kind of compete at a different price point. But I think you get a lot of that reliability look and style. Now, as I'm putting it on here, you can see here we have a, a you know, a flexible but harder rubber type of band with a little bit of, uh, you know, design in there for... Um, you know, style as well as uh, flexibility. We have the SME logo or name branded on there. Single uh, holes all the way down with a kind of a tire track or tank tread type of design, which kind of looks nice. And then a little, you know, pretty standard stainless steel buckle. Just a single prong um, clip there. And then, as you can see, you know, I'm, I've got more of a dress shirt on today, but this is a comfortable watch to wear. Uh, probably would even fit under the cuff of a shirt if you really cared about that. But it has a little bit of a chunky style to it, you know, particularly up here where you have uh, two big boxes where you would normally have like wire lugs hanging down. Um, you don't have any lugs here because it looks like the band is bolted directly to kind of those protrusions. But it is comfortable, and as you can see, the band's angled down pretty dramatically, so you have... Uh, kind of a nice form factor to hug your wrist. Stainless steel back. Uh, the other thing I love about SKMEs is that they print the type of battery they use right on the back, so you'll know that before you open it up. 1248 there on the back. Uh, very easy to service. Now let's uh, see if the sucker works just like we'd expect. So here we have, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the labels mode, light, start, and reset. So what we have here is uh, time attack, countdown timer, stop it, reset it. Uh, but here is kind of that main mode. And you can see the kind of the reversed LCD punch out. We have the time here, P for PM, Sunday, date, and then the seconds on the bottom. And so if we go through here, we've got alarm. Now we're on, looks like the stopwatch setting. Not sure if that stopwatch was running. It looks like it was running for quite a while. Stop and then reset there. Start it there. And then we have a split down here on the bottom. So if I stop it, it continues to run. And then if I hit it again, it'll pick up where it left off. But then if I stop with the top and reset at the bottom. And then we have the dual time zone right there. As well as the countdown timer. Now, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a, it. what I love about it and what I love about a lot of these commies is that they just work like you expect, like kind of old school digital sports watches work. I mean, you know, so many of them have so many complications now. You have to read the manual and it's almost impossible to remember them. This is just plain and simple, gives you everything you need and nothing you don't. Uh, it also has a button here for the light. Let's take a look at that and see what that looks like. There we have it, man, that thing glows bright. Uh, when you tap it, it only stays on for a couple seconds, but as you can see, it's very easy to read that kind of indiglow blue. Um, just looks great. Just another great watch by Skmi here. It's just a kind of a, a meat and potatoes type of watch, something you can wear, something that you can beat up. And again, they don't break the bank, which is the best part about them. You can get them, wear them, beat them up, and kind of doesn't matter how much money you make. You just, you won't have to sweat it too much, but they, I think they have a lot of style. Like I said, what a great alternative to some of the other watches that, you know, look the same, provide basically the same amount of functionality and cost two or three hundred dollars two or three hundred dollars you can afford to get this watch 
in um, all its different form factors. They have some with uh, kind of different bezel components here. You know, these these kind of claw-like uh, overlays here and things like that. You know, some of them have different color bezels, so you can get them with a little bit of color, a little bit of pizzazz and jazz hands. Um, but, uh, you know, just affordable and good watches. Like I said, I've had skimmies for years and I've been super happy with them. So check them out. I'll put a link to it in the description, but this particular one is going to go in the big box crap giveaway coming up soon. So stay tuned for more information on that. Peter Von Panda out.